Hello everyone, it's me, Roseline, and today is June 30, 2017. Yesterday, I made a video to inform you the stats of my green card, and let's do the recap. So, on my video yesterday, I informed you that my green card updated last June 26, 2017 to... A new card is being produced and then after three days June 29 that is yesterday my green card updated again to card was mailed to me and um, yesterday I went outside to check the mailbox if I have a letter coming from the USCIS but sadly I don't have a letter but that is in the morning. Usually, the post office truck, the USPS truck, distribute the letter around 4 to 5 in the afternoon. But I checked the mailbox in the morning and I did not check, <coughs> excuse, I did not check if I have a letter in the afternoon because it was raining outside. And now, June 30, I don't know, but I have a feeling that I have a letter today. I don't know. Um, it's just, there is something on me telling me that go outside, check your mailbox if you have a letter. But I know that I need to wait one week before I will receive my green card. But let's just try. There's no harm if I will go outside and check if I have a letter coming from USCIS. Cross finger if I have a letter. But before I will go outside, uh... I will inform you, I want to share my timeline. Okay, December 22, 2016, we sent my working permit, advance parole, and adjustment of status packet. And then December 23, the USCIS received my application. Then January 12, January 12, 2017, we received a text message and an email confirmation that they already received my application. But the December 23, uh, that is only a received confirmation from the tracking number. So, January 12, that is the confirmation from USCIS that they already received my application. And then, January 20, I received a hard copy of my NOAA 1. I received two NOAA 1. One is for the uh, work permit and advance parole, advance parole, and the other one is for the adjustment of status, green card. And then, January 26, I receive a biometric schedule hard copy that is through mail and also the NOAA one is through mail and then February 7 that is my biometric schedule I went there to process my biometrics and I have a video for that then next April 6 2017 my work permit status updated to card is being produced and then April 11 2017 I receive my NOAA 2 for work permit and advance parole so from December, January, February, March, April, four months. Then April 18, 
my status for work permit updated to card was mailed to me and then april 20 i received my work permit card so approximate four months that is 120 days from the time that the USCIS received my application. So 120 days or four months, I received my work permit. And then now, June 26, my green card updated to new card is being produced. That is 185 days from the time that the USCIS received my application. And then June 29, that is yesterday, my green card updated again to card was mailed to me. So now, I will go outside. I will check the mailbox if I, re if I receive any letter coming from USCIS. So please wish me luck if I have a letter. Cross finger. I'll be back. Okay guys. So now... I will go to the mailbox. Oh, why there is a fire truck here? I ambulance. Oh, what happened? Chismis. <laughs> oh my god. So that is our mailbox, apartment mailbox. Why there is an ambulance? What happened? There's an ambulance. Mga kaibigan. Yes. So fire truck and ambulance. I don't know why. What happened? Uh, uh, okay. This is the mailbox. And let's check if I have a mail. Sorry for the noise. Oh my god. I hope you can hear me, guys. Let's check. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Priority mail! This is, this is it, Pansit? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! This is my card! <laughs> I hope, I hope. Okay. We need to go home to open the, this letter if this is really my green card. Oh my gosh! Yay, yay! Thank you, Lord! open this letter okay so I'm back this is the moment of truth let's open this if this is my green card or just a notice or a billings <laughs> so let's open I wanted to share it with you guys fresh from the mailbox so Marcus is not here he is working I will message him later because he is very happy when I told him that um, my green card is already approved and it's already mailed to me and here we go ding 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 oh Ha <laughs> ha! 
immigrant it's confirm it's confirm it's my green card yeah hey yeah hey yeah hey hoo 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 yeah hey yeah hey yeah hey oh yeah. how can <laughs> yeah it's my green card it's not new I think this is the old green card. I thought they will change the design. Oh, whatsoever. I'm so happy it was here. <laughs> so, together with my green card. Okay, so far, um, my surname is correct. My first name and my middle initial is correct. So two years. So my card will expire June 24, 2019. Yay! And then, so my green card and this a guide for new immigrant. And then, what is this? Oh, ah, uh, okay. So this is just an envelope, separate. I will detach. Wow! Oh my gosh! There is like a um, printed at the back of the card. And it's so cute. My goodness. It's so cute. I will. I, how can I put it here? I'm so happy guys I'm so happy yeah so that you can see it Ta -da! can you see it Ta -da! permanent resident yay thank you Lord I'm so happy guys I feel ecstatic why because all the process that I've been through starting from K1 fiance visa application to work permit to advance parole to green card I did not experience any trouble complications I did not receive a re request for additional evidence or RFE I don't have interview for my green card it was so smooth as in smooth <laughs> I don't know if if it is because of my filing the way I file all my documents and send it to them starting K1 fiance visa because when I send my application our application during K1 fiance visa I am very organized and I put it on a binder and I have a cover letter so that someone who will check it they can easily look for it what's inside and also during my interview i have a uh, binder which is all my documents are there separately organized and my application for work permit, advanced parole, and green card is organized and not only organized, 
okay not only organized but i make sure that all the forms i answered it correctly i studied it very well i review it three times four times and i make sure all my documents are complete and also i make sure that everything is in there i don't know if that is the reason why my application since k1 to work permit to green card is so smooth no problem at all or i'm just lucky <laughs> i'm just lucky because i did not experience the rfe and interview for the green card but i'm very happy so i want to share it with you guys because all of you are part of my um experience part of my what do you call this um journey <laughs> that's why i wanted to share it with you guys because i know most of you same with me i have lots of questions i have um lots of worriness what if like this what if like that if i receive this what should i do blah 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 as in lots of questions that's why i share you my experience step by step so you would know okay uh so good luck to everyone if you have any questions uh kindly please check my youtube channel because all of my experience all the forms all my documents applications how did we send it how did i file it and send it i have a video for that for you to help you to guide you but i am not saying that your situation is same with my situation okay um so you have to watch out also don't just copy whatever you see whatever you ask don't just copy you need to review your forms your documents okay so that's it for now guys thank you so much for those who haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do subscribe and if you have a questions please feel free to comment on my video please don't ask for my email because i will not give it to you because i don't want someone to hack my email and experience it again like what happened before and don't message me on my facebook just message me on my video whatever you whatever question you want and if you want another video like you have a request for me to do it for you for more clarification i will do it just request it okay so good luck everyone thank you lord <laughs> and um, i'm so great because it's just after updating after my green card status updated to card was mailed to me a day after that i received my green card so fast unbelievable so my timeline is six months ding 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 <laughs> so guys thank you bye bye say bye bye baby bye bye to everyone <laughs> bye bye <laughs>